Our political system has become so polarizing and divisive. Instead of coming up with new ideas and solutions, we continually attack each other's parties and we resort to vilifying our opponents. If there was ever a time in history where we needed new ideas, new people not to become afraid with new solutions, not to be afraid to go against the party line, the time is now. People are suffering. Our economy is in shambles and unstable. Our unemployment is through the roof, and our national security is on the line. I have the passion, I have the drive, and I'm not afraid to come up with new ideas or champion solutions that may be unpopular. Not only does a campaign, but a job of a U.S. Senator takes an amazing amount of time, physical, and mental commitment. Now, over a year ago, I was in a car accident. And I've spent the last over a year trying to fight to recover, to have the ability to run because I believe that Florida needs a new direction. And thousands of my friends across Florida and across the country have continually urged me to, to run. And with every fiber in me, I want to run this race. Unfortunately, I'm announcing today that I will not be a candidate for the U.S. Senate. I am still in pain and not physically up to the rigors of the campaign, let alone serve as a U.S. Senator. I am grateful for the love and support of my friends, my family, and my girlfriend who are all willing to support me no matter what decision I made. I will continue my involvement in my community, in philanthropy, supporting children and education, which has already always been a passion to me. And as time goes on, I will heal, and in the future I will consider running for elected office again. Thank you so much for your time, and I'm happy to answer any questions as it relates to the announcement. Is, has Connie Mack's decision to enter the race have anything to do with you not entering the race? Not at all. So when might you run for another seat? I'm sorry? When might you run for another seat? Well, it will all depend on, on my physical ability. I mean, I'm, I'm in pain. It's hard for me to, uh, to walk for a long period of time, stand for a long period of time. I was hoping that over a year, my physical rehabilitation would get to be that. But it, but it just hasn't yet. So more than a year then? Well, I would say at this rate, uh, more than a year. Yeah. Are you on pain medication? I am. Can I ask you, what are you going to be doing in the next six or eight months in addition to rehab? In terms of rehabilitation? No, in terms of your passions for helping others. <clears throat> like well, I'll still be involved in the community. I mean, I've lived in Florida. Unfortunately, the last couple of years, I've, I've, I've I was stuck in California after the accident for five months trying to walk again and now spending more time in Florida um, to step up for students. It's one of the things that I love to support, uh, which is a statewide initiative to support children going to private schools and school choice and charter schools. Um, and, uh, and Sophia has a foundation that supports uh, orphans in Columbia, so I want to be able to support them. Can Sophia tell us if she would have liked to see you run? I don't think she I don't think she wants to be in I don't think she's good. She wants to. Uh, make it. Are you We are not. Are you considering a movie career, acting career? No. Is there anybody else you'd like to support? Anybody else you like uh, early on? Is there anybody, anyone else you're thinking about supporting? I, I haven't made a decision. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, it's, maybe, it's maybe, it's maybe as, as time goes on, we'll see. Maybe I'll get behind somebody. <coughs> I haven't made that decision. Have you spoken to anybody? Uh, I, I have, but I don't really want to talk about drugs. That's it. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. Oh, I'm tired out here.